Okay, so let's build a, a preferential attachment graph. So we're gonna write this net logo model that builds a graph and the graph's topology uses preferential attachment, which basically means that in uh, you know in this kind of processes the the wealthy receive more than those who are not, or in our case, you know, we're gonna define wealth as the number of edges. So uh, a node is gonna get an edge or a link. Uh, more likely if it has more edges. So the more edges you have, the more likely it is you're going to get a new link. So let's do that. And uh, back over here. And now we're going to need your setup button. And uh, the layout button. Layout button. And uh, so setup is going to create a bunch of nodes. I'm going to create all my nodes first. So the num nodes here. Then clean that up. There, then we go over here. I'm going to have a read of nodes and node. I'm just going to call them like that uh, to set up to layout and um, set up clear all reset. And then to set it up, clear everything, and then I ask the patches to set their color to white, just because I like that. And then I'm going to create nodes, uh, num nodes, nodes. I'm going to set their shape to be a circle and set um, their x, y coordinates just randomly. Uh, what's this video? Video. I'm gonna save that over there. Uh, so, so now set up so that uh, layout. The layout. I'm just gonna use the old um, layout spring uh, nodes and links. And the numbers I'm going to use, I think, are 0 0.511. Let's try that. Set up layout. Oh, this needs to be a forever. Forever button. I lay it out, and then they go off to the side, as you might expect. It's good to be able to move these guys with the mouse. So let me just do that. Um, the if mouse down and mouse inside. So if the mouse is down and inside the, uh, the drawing area there, um, I'm going to find the closes. Closes is uh, nodes with min um, distance x, y to the mouse, uh, mouse px score, mouse py core, right? Oh. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Whoops, forgot to close in. And uh, so ask the closest one to set x, y, mouse px core, mouse py core. I think that works. No, no. Uh, it's not mouse p x core. It's mouse x core and y core. Sorry. That makes sense. It didn't change color. So set it up, lay it out, and what I can do now, I should be able to move these guys around. See, I'm still doing the layout, uh, but that come in handy. So no edges now, so that's why these guys are all repelling each other. Uh, let's create some edges. Uh, so how are we going to do that? Uh, let me just explain first. Uh, preferential attachment. So the way this is going to work is, uh, you know, first, each time I go, I'm going to connect at, at an edge. So like the first edge is probably going to be, you know, between uh, any two random nodes, like say these two guys get an edge right there, 
and then after that I'm gonna pick a node that doesn't have any edges so because I want to connect all these edges in so pick one of those randomly say this guy and then I'm gonna connect them to an existing uh, one of the nodes that has an edge but I'm gonna choose these stochastically right so I'm going to choose them with the probability proportional to the number of edges now in this case if I choose this guy uh, these two guys have one edge so they're going to be 50 50 chance anyway so you know let's say we connect it to this guy uh, but now at this point I uh, you know say I pick this one for the next guy and I'm going to connect these guys stochastically so I'm going to choose to connect this one to one of these three the choice is going to be stochastic or you know it's going to be weighted by the number of edges um, and this guy has one two one so that's four so that means i'm going to choose this guy with one out of four probability this guy with two out of four probability and this guy with one out of four probability and so it's going to connect to these guys based on those probabilities and so on and next time around let's say if we uh, end up going to here and after that, this guy is going to be uh, change colors for the next time. Uh, so after that, then this guy is going to be oh, so it's, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be out of 6. So it's uh, 1 out of 6, 2 out of 6, 2 out of 6, and 1 out of 6. For those. Uh, so hopefully you get the idea. That's a stochastic choice. Mm. Let me spell that out stochastic choice and uh, that's what it means for us in the uh, programmers it means a random choice but a random choice that is weighted by some fixed probabilities um so to do that uh, i'm gonna well first i need to pick one guy just so i'm gonna need a go button and all that um so to go and um Tick in there, and uh, so I'm gonna pick one guy. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be from the guys that don't have any uh, edges. So let this connected nodes to be the nodes with not any link neighbors. Right? So the nodes that don't have any link neighbors, they don't have any neighbors. Those are disconnected, so I'm gonna those are there. Um, so if we have any left, if not empty, uh, oh, sorry, none not in. Um, if there are any, if if we have some of those, if there are any disconnected nodes, then I'm gonna ask one of one of those guys randomly to you know make a link to somebody else right so i need to define make link I'm gonna put here that's going to be and this is going to be my node methods down here and the one we have now is make link so he's gonna basically he's gonna need to choose the other guy he's gonna connect to and uh, he's going to choose that stochastically, right? So how are we going to do that? We're going to need some sort of method for that. Random one, stochastic. And then I'm going to give it the, the guys that he's going to pick from. So uh, I don't want him to pick myself, right? So I'm going to send other nodes. So this is saying this method here is going to return one of the other nodes, but it's going to choose stochastically among them. And of course, that method does not exist yet, so we have to define it. To report random one stochastic and takes an agent set as an argument. And um, so let me just write a comment here. Uh, report a random member of agent said but chosen chosen stochastically uh, based on the number of links that the node has so you know kind of assumes that the agents are nodes uh, 
call it node Z3. Um, so it's a set of nodes which are going to have uh, links. Um, so uh, how do we pick uh, stochastically? Let me just show you what we're going to do here with the picture. So uh, basically, you know, to pick stochastically is the same as, you know, if you have an urn, right? And all these little blue balls here, blue, and then, you know, different color ones. So you have some red ones, two red ones, three red ones, and uh, some green, you know, maybe. A green. So, you know, if you have this, this urn here, bag with uh, a lot of balls, you put your hand in there, close your eyes, pick one randomly, you know, you are making a stochastic choice then you're going to choose blue or you're going to get a blue ball with, uh, I don't know, five out of uh, uh, eight, nine, uh, five out of nine probability in this case. Uh, so that's a stochastic choice. That's what we want to do, except, you know, instead of uh, the number of blue balls, we're going to have, these are going to be our nodes. So we want the number of nodes, instead of being five, just randomly uh, it can be, uh, proportional to uh, well the number of times we have is going to be the number of edges uh, for that node right? so this means that red this guy has three edges so we're going to create a list so once we have this list um, we can just do a one-off pick randomly from them uh, so we just need to make this list uh, that says blue, 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 blue. Instead of saying blue, of course, it's going to have, you know, agent or node one, node one, and then, you know, node, the red node, so let's say that's two, and so on. So that's what we need to do. We need to make that list. Uh, so let's do it. Um, so there's this primitive called n values. n values that makes a list so i can say eight money how many times you know so if i say n values five or four of self it's going to create a list of four of an agent right but i don't want four i want count link neighbors right. and uh now this i actually want to put this whole thing use the off primitive and I would set there. So what this is going to return is a list of uh, how many neighbors? Uh, a list, a uh, list of lists, really, because so it's going to go through each agent and node set, and it's going to calculate how many times that guy, how many link neighbors he has. It's going to create one copy of himself. Uh, so let's just let's test this out. Uh, I think I misspelled this. Disco. Disconnected. Should have a spell checker. Okay, so back here. Uh, random one stochastic of nodes. So create all those nodes. So show random one stochastic node. This doesn't work yet, but stochastic of nodes. Going to return a list of empty lists. That's kind of what we wanted. Let's say, um, let's say I go ahead and ask node zero to create link with node one, and uh, I show it again. So now node zero shows up right there. Good, and node one over here. So that's good. And so here, going to ask node zero to create a link with node two, and I show it again. There's node one, node zero, so that appears twice, and then node one. Okay, so this is kind of what I want, but I don't want all these empty lists. You know, I want to get rid of all those empty lists. All I want is a list that says node one, node zero, node zero, node two. So in uh, list talk, if you will, uh, what we need is to flatten this list. We need to flatten this baby out. And uh, the way you do that is, you know, in functional programming languages like this one, Let's, I'm going to use the uh, reduce primitive. So I'm going to uh, reduce and the method I'm going to reduce. So this is the whole list. And I'm going to reduce and using the sentence primitive in that logo. 
that flattens two lists. So if you apply sentence to uh, two lists, it'll basically flatten them or you know merge them together into one list. Uh, so let's see if that works. I'm gonna do it again and boom. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Node zero, zero, one, and two. Right. So now all I can, all I have to do is, uh, you know, pick randomly. So if I do one of that, we we'll just pick one randomly, and of course, node zero should appear in that uh, fifty percent of the time. So it doesn't appear to be happening, but uh, you know how it works. Um, awesome. So so there we have it. Uh, I'm going to report, well, I'm going to let this, I'm going to call that, I don't know, the node list. And then I'm going to report one of the node list. Right. Just to make it more easier to read. Okay, so now make link other guy is, uh, is now awesome. So I'm going to go here, put him back here. So now all I have to do is create a link with the other guy. Now uh, will this work? Let's check it out. Move this out of the way. Set up, laid out. Oh, wait, I need a little go button. Go. And then do that. Lay it out and then hit go and uh, crashes. Uh, it's an empty list of input. Yeah, so ha what happens is the first time is uh, annoying, right? So the first time this node list is going to be an empty list. Right? So what I think we should do here, you know, that's only going to happen the first time. So if empty node list, the node list is empty, then I'm just going to report uh, one of the nodes that just a random guy, just anybody. That will fix that problem. Oops, and the node set without a dash. So set up, lay it out, go. There we go. So we add that link, another one, go. Got connected to that guy. So each new guy is getting connected to the existing graph. Each time I press go, and you can see it's forming the old preferential attachment graph. And uh, that looks good. I see that's why you expect some of these hubs. These hubs get informed. So I think this is working. Now when we get here at this point, you know, if you look at our code, it uh, doesn't do anything. So our Go code says if there are any disconnected nodes, then do that. Otherwise, well, nothing happens. Um, what should happen, what I, th I think what I should happen, uh, if I hit Go again, then at this point, uh, there's no more disconnected guys, so we should pick one of the existing guys, but we should again pick him stochastically, right? So we should pick this guy with probably one out of, uh, you know, whatever number of edges there are. 50, actually. Um, so one out of 50. Uh, but this guy should have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, there's 100 edges because each edge gets counted twice. So this is one out of 100, and this is this one we will get paid with like five out of a hundred, um, right? So that's what I think should happen. Uh, that way we can maintain um, the, you know, the small world aspect of it, or the preferential attachment. So if there are, if there are no disconnected nodes, so uh, then uh, I'm gonna pick one randomly. So luckily I already built that, so random one stochastic of nodes. So I'm going to pick one randomly and then I'm going to ask that guy to make a link to somebody else. Again, ask that guy to make a link to somebody else. And then we run it again. Set it up. Lay out. Go, 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 go. And uh, once we're done here, and then oh, can keep adding and uh, so it looks pretty good obviously if you keep adding too many it's going to be fully connected and it's going to lose the preferential attachment uh, but i think uh, this maintains um, the preferential attachment uh, 
characteristics at least for some time. So there you go. The main thing to remember about this, um, so that shows you, you know, sort of how to do this, how to create preferential attachment, and uh, how to, you know, pick stochastically. So this, this, this little bit of business here, and this is very useful. Whoops, not that. Uh, uh, you know, comes up a lot. Uh, so for example, if you're, you know, trying to move around an MDP process, uh, you need to make stochastic choices. So this is how you do it. Uh, now this is only works if your uh, this is has to be an integer, right? So it doesn't work so well if you have real numbers, but uh, I mean it doesn't work. <laughs> it's, you know, well, it's an approximation if you have real numbers, um, but it works pretty well, and uh, you you use this a lot. In fact, so much that I think something like this should be part of Net Logo, but maybe someday. So that's it.